Richard O'Sullivan, virtually a household name in British television, charmed audiences with his brilliant portrayal of Robin in Man About the House. Remember the hilarious episode where Robin's culinary experiment hilariously backfired, turning the kitchen into a comical disaster? Well, it was unforgettable moments like these that defined O'Sullivan's charm and wit, making him a favorite among viewers. As time passed, however, O'Sullivan's familiar presence began to fade from our screens, leaving fans puzzled and curious. What led this beloved actor to mysteriously retreat from the fame he had so effortlessly held? This video dives deep into O'Sullivan's life and career with insights from Sally Thompson, his co-star and former partner. Join us as we unravel the story of Richard O'Sullivan, exploring the laughter, fame, and untold chapters of his life. Early Life and Rise to Fame Born May 7, 1944 in Chiswick, London, Richard O'Sullivan began his journey in a post-war Britain filled with cultural shifts and new opportunities. His early interest in acting led him to the Italia Conti Academy, a prestigious theatre art school in London. O'Sullivan's natural talent shined through early on, leading to his debut as a child actor. He quickly made a name for himself in the entertainment industry, featuring in various British films and television series in the 50s and 60s. His breakthrough came with the role of Robin Tripp in the sitcom Man About the House in 1973. This show, a hit with audiences, revolved around the then-daring concept of mixed-gender flat-sharing. His portrayal of Robin showcased not only his comedic timing, but also a certain relatability that resonated with the viewers. As the show's popularity soared, so did O'Sullivan's, firmly establishing him as a household name in the UK. Richard O'Sullivan's Retreat by the time the 90s rolled in, O'Sullivan's presence in the public eye began to fade. This gradual retreat from a thriving acting career to a more private life sparked curiosity and concern among fans. It was a significant change for someone who had spent almost his entire life in the spotlight. O'Sullivan, known for his lively performances and boyish charm, seemed to consciously step back from the fame that had defined his early career. The reasons behind the shift were not immediately apparent, leading to speculation about the various pressures and personal decisions that might have influenced this change. His move from a celebrated actor to a more elusive figure underscored the private nature often found in those living their lives in the limelight. This withdrawal was particularly notable considering O'Sullivan's impact on the entertainment industry. His role in Man About the House was more than just a character. It was a cultural icon of its time, mirroring the changing social norms and evolution of British comedy. O'Sullivan's decision to step away from this world, at a peak when he could have explored different avenues in his career, pointed towards a complex blend of personal and perhaps professional reasons. Co-Star's Insights in a 2009 interview with the Daily Mail, Sally Thompson, O'Sullivan's co-star and former partner, provided intimate insights into their relationship and O'Sullivan's life. Thompson, who played Joe in Man About the House, described their relationship as unexpectedly low-key, contrary to the typical celebrity lifestyle. Their time together was characterized more by quiet evenings and TV dinners than glamorous outings. She reminisced about O'Sullivan's iconic look and charm that defined the 1970s. Despite his status as a heartthrob, their life off-screen was simple, reflecting O'Sullivan's genuine and down-to-earth personality. Thompson's reflections reveal a different side of O'Sullivan, one that shied from the limelight. She observed that O'Sullivan's retreat from public life was not a sudden decision but a gradual process. Thompson highlighted how their relationship, though set against the backdrop of fame, was grounded in everyday normalcy. This perspective sheds light on O'Sullivan's eventual move from the public eye, suggesting that his off-screen persona might have always leaned towards a more private life. Thompson also shared numerous behind-the-scenes details of their time on Man About the House, offering a glimpse into the dynamics between the cast members and their interactions beyond the camera. Her comments furnish valuable context to O'Sullivan's career and personal life. O'Sullivan's Later Life Following his retreat from the spotlight, Richard O'Sullivan's life took a quieter turn. 
In his later years, particularly after a severe stroke in 2003, he chose to live in Brinsworth House, a retirement home for entertainers located in Twickenham, southwest London. This decision came after a period where he lived almost as a recluse in a West London flat with his son Jamie, from his relationship with actress Tessa Wyatt. The stroke had a significant impact on his health, leaving him with challenges that necessitated a supportive living environment. Before the stroke, O'Sullivan's life was marked by personal struggles, including a difficult divorce in the early 90s and a period of self-admitted hard drinking and depression. Despite these challenges, his legacy in the entertainment industry remained strong. He was honored in a 1999 edition of This Is Your Life, celebrating his contributions to television. In 2006, he participated in a commentary for the DVD release of Carry On Teacher, indicating his ongoing connection to his past work. These rare public engagements post-retirement offered glimpses into O'Sullivan's life after fame, showcasing a man who, despite personal struggles, still held a place in the hearts of his fans. Sally Thompson's Career and Love Troubles after her stint on Man About the House, Sally Thompson's career and personal life continued to be as dynamic and diverse as the role she played. Following the show's end, her acting career included appearances in The Fen Street Gang and Softly Softly Task Force. She also starred in the psychological thriller Straw Dogs alongside Dustin Hoffman and in Baxter with Britt Eklund. Her visibility increased further when she was cast in the sitcom after being spotted in a Bovril commercial in 1972. Her journey after Man About the House was marked by professional engagements and personal explorations. In 1978, she appeared in Wodehouse Playhouse and took a hiatus from acting after a crunchy chocolate bars advert in 1979 to travel the world. Her career pace slowed following the birth of her daughter, though she returned to the stage for a touring production of The Holly and the Ivy in 98 and 99. She experienced a series of high-profile relationships and unexpected life turns. After her marriage to Nigel Newman ended quickly, she married Danish film producer Klaus Heed Nielsen during her time in Los Angeles. This marriage also ended in estrangement, and she later found a long-term relationship with Paul Agnew. The couple had a daughter, Charlotte, when Thompson was 46, but they never married due to Thompson's ongoing legal marriage to Nielsen. Where are they now? Paula Wilcox, who portrayed Chrissy Plummer on Man About the House, sustained a successful acting career. After the show, she starred in Miss Jones and Son and appeared in Fiddler's 3 in the 90s. She continued on TV in the 2000s, starring in The Smoking Room. More recently, she joined the cast of Coronation Street. Brian Murphy, known for his role as George Roper, pursued acting after the show. He starred in The Incredible Mr. Tanner and appeared in L for Lester though these shows didn't replicate his early career success. Murphy found a long-standing role, though, in Last of the Summer Wine. Youth Joyce, who played Mildred Roper, sadly passed away in 1980 due to liver failure. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised about any of the revelations about these stars? Let us know in the comments section below.